We've been very excited to share InnerSource with you today. We've talked about the types of problems where InnerSource can help, how to do it, the benefits that you can expect to see from participating, and the underlying principles that make it all work. And now you're probably wondering what to do next. Well, lucky for you, there's an organization called InnerSourceCommons.org. And if you go there, it's free to participate, and you'll find almost 100 companies that are working with these principles and figuring out how InnerSource is going to fit within their organizations and what problems it's solving for them. And they share information very freely, and you'll find tons of help there. And another good reason to go there is the rest of this learning path includes a module about trusted committers, one about contributors, and one about product owners to help you really dial into those roles and how to get them working well within your organization. And those will be announced first at the InnerSourceCommons.org. So we hope to see you there.